Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Yogi coming at you from Sony Knows Channel. Thanks everybody for watching this video today. So what I want to do for you today in this video is show you how to replace the battery for a laptop and also how to upgrade the memory. Now the laptop that I'm working on is my work laptop. It's a Dell Latitude. Model number is E7440. So if you have the exact same model, you can follow along with me and I'll put a link in the description below of the exact parts that I bought so you can get the exact same parts from Amazon. Now, one of the complaints that I had is the battery only lasted about 30 minutes maximum when I used it without plugging it in. So the, the battery wasn't the greatest. It's two years old. So I mean, what can you expect, right? It's a two year old laptop. So I asked, and they said, yeah, that's fine. If you want to go ahead and re replace the battery, go for it. And then while I was at it, I said, I need more memory, too, because 8 gigs of memory right now is just not cutting it. So there's two sticks. Each one is 4 gigs of RAM, and it's DDR3 memory. So I'm going to replace those and upgrade the memory to 16 gigs total. So that's going to be two sticks of 8 gigs each. And then hopefully once I replace the memory and the battery, I'm going to have a pretty close to brand new laptop and I'm going to show you step by step everything you need to do. Really all you need are your two hands and just one screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver and that's all you need. Follow along with me step by step and I'll show you how easy it is to replace both of these parts. Here we go. Yo, I ain't here for the money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our new battery. So I got this from Amazon. I'll put a link for you in the description below. This is by Densing. It's a 47 watt hour battery replacement. The one I've got right now from Dell is a piece of crap because it only lasts about 30 minutes on a full charge. And so I got this one, which is um, a little bit stronger and is brand new, obviously. So should give me a good battery life for the uh, unforeseeable future. Now, when you cut open the box, because it is a battery inside, be careful. So use something like a soft edge box cutter, box opener, like you see that I'm using here. Uh, if you're gonna use a knife or scissors, be very careful because you don't want anything bad happening to you when you open up that battery and you accidentally puncture the battery. So they wrapped it and packaged it pretty well. You can see that there's some foam around the battery. And it also is in, is in a plastic uh, cover, cellophane cover, so that way there's no static charge that could uh, destroy the battery also comes with a laptop battery instruction manual which we don't need because obviously you're watching this video so let's get everything cleaned up and make sure you're on a grounded surface like a wooden table make sure you are properly grounded ideally you want to be wearing like a wristband that dissipates any static electricity once you take the battery out Let's take a look at it. Get a nice close up here. There it is. Densing 47 watt hour battery. Replacing the current 34 watt hour battery made by Dell. It's pretty easy, doesn't take a whole lot of time. Make sure your work surface is clean. All you've got to do is take this little notch that I'm pointing at, slide it to the left. And as you slide it, hold it there. And then lift up the tab to remove the battery. There it is. Easy as that. So let's set that down. This is the one that I got from Dell. And here's the new one. It should look exactly the same. Same size, same shape. Otherwise you got the wrong battery. The only difference here is the new one that I have is a little bit more powerful. So it'll hold a charge for longer. And it's brand new so it's a win-win all around. Make sure you go check out the website, the link that I put in my description below, and go buy from Amazon. 
So let's take the plastic wrapper off the back. And you're going to see these tabs or notches on the bottom of the battery pack. Line those up to the bottom of the laptop case and just push it into place. And that's it. So if you're watching this video to see how to replace the battery, you're done. It's as easy as that. All right, for those of you that are still with me, it's because you want to see how to replace the memory. So we're going to take the battery out, set that off to the side, and we've got two screws that we're going to need to take out. There's one right there and one right there. So on opposite sides, you're going to use a regular Phillips screwdriver. And I'll put a link in the description for the tool drive, the screwdriver kit that I use. I got it from Amazon. Just take out those screws, set them aside, and it's as easy as that. That is the easiest laptop I've ever had to take apart to get the memory out. Two screws. Now with the cover, what you want to do is push forward with a little bit of pressure and just push forward slightly just so that back cover gets disengaged and then you're just going to lift it up using your fingertips using your fingernails and just lift up and move that back cover aside now you can see on mine it's a little bit dirty it's got quite a bit of dust from years of usage and you can see the inner parts of now of the laptop now those are the two memory sticks that we need to replace be very careful, especially now that we're on the inside of the laptop, that you're on a wooden surface, that you're grounded, and that everything you touch stays static free. So we're gonna take out those two memory sticks, simply pull those two tabs aside, pull them in opposite directions. So let me zoom in so you can see better. Pull those two metal tabs to the side and that disengages the memory sticks. There we go. So you see those two metal tabs that I'm pointing to, use your thumbs, pull them apart and the memory stick comes up and pull it straight out and set it off to the side. Okay, now, now that we've got those that taken out, set them off to the side. These are DDR3 memory sticks. I'll put a link in the description below of the replacement memory sticks that I've gotten from Amazon. And let me show you what the packaging looks like. There it is. I got the ones by Time Tech. All in all, for the battery and the memory stick, I spent about $100 total. So you don't need to spend a ton of money on, on these two parts to get them replaced. Again, be careful when you open the packaging. Careful that your work surface is grounded. Put your equipment on a wooden surface if available. Take apart the packaging. There's the little workbook. We can set that off to the side. We don't need that. And there's your two memory sticks. Be very careful that you're grounded. And there's what they look like, a close up. So each one is eight gigs of RAM. DDR3. Take the first one out. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I've already put the first one in. Now I'm gonna show you with the second one how easy it is to put it in. So first things first, you wanna make sure you match up the notch on the memory stick card to the notch on the motherboard. Slowly place it in, push forward, and then down until you hear a click. And that's it. Easy as that. Put the cover back on. Take your time with it. Don't force anything. And don't get any of the other wires loose or disengage any of the other wires that are on the motherboard. Slowly slide it back into place and then put the two screws back in. I really like the uh, screwdriver kit that I'm using here because it's got just a bit of magnetism, not enough to cause harm to uh, key crucial components within the laptop because as you know, magnets 
and motherboards and anything electrical don't jive and put the battery back in the opposite of how you took it out push it down till you hear the click and the repair is done now let's flip it over give it a quick wipe down and you're good to go so give it a thumbs up if you like the video guys I really hope that you subscribe if you haven't already and not just that but make sure you click on the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I put a new video out for you until next time guys thanks for watching the video